Sarah Haynes, co-host of DVU, has given Sunny Hostin the finger. The host cut her off in mid-sentence and urged her to wait a minute. The View crew discussed Black Santas in wheelchairs and LGBTQ, plus flag-adorned nutcrackers at Target on Friday. The woman shared her thoughts on the matter and stated that although some Republicans took offense, it wasn't a major concern. When Sarah, 46, did finally speak, she explained that although LGBT people have always existed, they were not previously permitted to come out as much. She continued by discussing her upbringing in a religious home and how her parents didn't accept the LGBT plus community until her brother came out. Sunny, 55, broke in her speech to say, but Sarah, still Sarah. Sarah responded, wait a minute, Sunny, raising her finger and making her point. As Sarah was about to conclude her point, Sunny could be heard remarking, well, well, before Sarah concluded and shut up. Anna Navarro opened her mouth to say something, but Sunny got right to the point. A View co-anchor has before raised a finger in mockery of another host. The hosts discussed famous people who had just published books in October. It's a common interest of Sunny and Alyssa, 34, to read autobiographies of celebrities. The 67-year-old Whoopi Goldberg said nothing about it. However, 51-year-old Anna declared that she was done defending Will Smith and done with the Jada Smith thing. When Sunny pleaded with Anna to read Jada's story, Anna refused. You know, though, what I really want to read? Mitt Romney is releasing a new biography, not an autobiography, so Anna informed her co-hosts. That's what you want to read, Sunny was curious. Anna stated, I want to read that. Anna read the card from top to back. She continued reading what Mitt Romney had to say about other lawmakers. However, how is this? May I? Alyssa cut her off. Anna ignored her, keeping her focus on the card. After the next line, Alyssa raised her voice once more and began speaking over Anna. Anna continued speaking while glancing at her card and pointing at Alyssa. With a hushed oak, Alyssa replied. She gave the audience an uneasy smile and then fell silent. After Anna concluded her statement, Alyssa was able to speak at last. Hold up! Whoopi instructed Alyssa in a tense, live moment in March, effectively shutting her off. The question of whether former Vice President Mike Pence was correct to criticize Pete Buttigieg's paternity leave sparked a heated discussion. Whoopi berated the politician nonstop, telling him to find a new joke because the previous one wasn't amusing. Alyssa, who collaborated with Pence, attempted to offer an alternative viewpoint but the remainder of the panel concurred with her. According to Alyssa, this was a joke that did not land. She did point out some serious warning signs, though. The joke, according to Sunny, was stale and lazy. She was cut off by Alyssa with two points. I do want to note, though, that Pence has been a champion of paid family leave, so I think that's what was the issue for me not landing, the newly arrived candidate stated. Whoopi cut in, but that's my point with it. But, I do want us to be careful, Alyssa said. I don't want us to resemble the snowflakes we point fingers at. We think, it's a joke. Wait not, no, hold on, wait a moment. Whoopi spoke up once more. For a brief moment, the moderator raised her finger in an attempt to compose herself. Those guys are like snowflakes, Whoopi remarked. No, I am aware. I believe we should like, Alyssa stammered as she spoke. The joke was terrible for other times, that's the main point, Whoopi remarked. It's indolent since he is aware of better.